Hey everybody, welcome to a another League of Legends. We're gonna call this series uh Lane Kingdom. Uh take after my boy uh I think I think one of my favorite mid laners right now, you know, aside from like PoE on FlyQuest is and you know, obviously like Knight is really good, but probably one of my favorites right now is a uh, BDD actually for a Genji. Um well, I don't know, it's between him. Knight just played Nocturne in mid, and Nocturne in mid's probably my favorite mid laner, so it's tough to say, but uh, in this game, we're going against a Zoe, and our team comp looks pretty good, except for a suspect misfortune support. This isn't season six anymore. Um, Alright, that was season six. Yeah, that was season six. Uh, and then their team comp, they got the Lulu Kogmal. I mean, their team comp's okay. It's it's not a it's just kind of a hodgepodge. Ours is definitely a better comp. Um, so starting off, actually. What I'm looking to do here is I'm looking to, and you'll see my runes, let's go ahead and break that down actually. I looked at their team comp and I said I need damage because I need to kill this little, you know, slime ball, you know, through the 15 shields he'll get from Lulu. And phase rush would have been nice this game to kite around, and there are moments when it's definitely would have been way better. But for the majority of the game, Electrocute helps me just give the extra burst I need to go ahead and finish off like the Kog'Maw. And I even started Doran's Ring just to get the extra damage and farming ability. And so to start this off, I see my team is kind of fighting here. I'm not thinking I'm going to get this kill. Instead, I'm thinking I can get a few pokes on Zoe. And more importantly, prop my uh, Mana Flow Band. Because the sooner I get that stacked up, the better. And so I'm just going to walk down here. And I'm going to go ahead and throw a Q down. I'm going to throw another one down. So I've already gotten 50 or is it 25? Mana flow band. Oh, just went away. Uh, shoot. Can't click. Yeah, I've gotten 25 mana back. Um, you have to get 250, so you have to get 4, 8, what is that? 10? 10, 10 procs of it. Alright, so I know they're jungler's topside, and you're actually gonna see me take caution that because I have a feeling after he gets red buff, he's gonna be coming mid. So we're just gonna farm first. I missed the minion. Um, I'm probably gonna miss a few Qs, and actually this is the first big mistake I make, is draining my mana and not making something out of it. I'm lose- I'm- I'm doing way too f too little damage for mana use. You wanna be making as much damage out of your mana as you can, and so here I go ahead and ward because I have a feeling Kha'Zix is coming mid, and it was a right feeling. Of course I've got Hecarim on his raptors, kind of shading for me in case I need his assistance, but... You know, this is ranked solo queue, I can't trust anybody. And we're just gonna keep procking our mana flow, I think that's the third one, so I'm at 75. So I've got seven more procs to go before I have the mana regen coming in. And here, Hecarim's just in a bad place, I don't think I can save him. Yeah, no. I don't even think I get my mana flow, yeah I do. Okay, so I get, I'm already four procs in, I've got eight more, no, six more procs to go on mana flow band, so that's nice. That's a first good thing, because mana regen is really good, and as you can see right now, I'm out. So at this point, I have to hope I can make good moves with my feet, my footwork, and also I can farm without being harassed. There, I knock a few birds out with one stone. It's okay to, you know, keep using my mana at this point. I'm not going to have enough to contend with her anyway. She's got way more than me. I can't afford to get slept here, and I can't afford to be missing minions with my autos. And so it's kind of nice to read and, you know, know when can I use that, that extra, you know, I've got 60 mana, every time I have 60 mana I have a spell ready. When can I use that spell, because as soon as I use it I'm down for, you know, another 10 seconds let's say. I either use it to get the most AoE off and farm the most minions I can with one go, or when I think that Zoe's gonna be able to kill me when she's kind of navigating herself in the position. And so far, she hasn't really had that opportunity. And this is where things get rough, because farming under tower is not easy when you're out of mana. I think I'm gonna miss this whole wave. Ironically, I think, yeah, I'm ahead of Zoe and mana, actually, so I gotta... I could go ahead and go back, let's see how much gold I have. Is there a way I can check? Uh, I actually don't know how to know how much gold I have. 
essentially I have enough gold right now, I think, to buy tier. Well, that's weird. I don't know. I should have enough to buy tier at this point. But I don't want to back just yet because I want to get something else alongside my tier. Maybe that's probably boots so I can kind of uh, skirt around her abilities because I guess Zoe one of the greatest things you can have is mobility. There, I think I actually really misplayed. I missed her and didn't kill the minion, although at least I was able to kill the minion. Yeah, I did miss her. So that would have been nice if I'd have gotten a hit on her there, but I didn't hit her. So we still have six to go. I can't tell if she has mana flow. She does not. She went biscuits. So that's pretty okay. Biscuits would have definitely helped me more here, I think. Alright, so I go back now. Why? Because at some point, when you even out a wave like this, I've gotten them even out in the middle. I just have to take the mulligan of this wave. It's not a cannon wave. I try not to back on cannon waves if I can. So I go ahead and go back. I'm gonna buy my tier. And I don't have enough for boots, so I'm just going to buy a control ward and some health pots. Um, and I don't think I do a great job of warding this game like I should. You're going to see Misfortune's actually in my lane, which kind of is annoying. This Misfortune does this a lot this game, if I recall. Anyway, I'm going to keep pushing here. I know Zoe's not in lane, so I'm going to go ahead and push. Why? So I can go get my vision down. If you watch the set game, you know I like to push so that I can get vision control. And I can have security in my lane, because even if I'm pushed, as long as I know there's nobody there, I'm not at risk of dying. And at this point, we're just playing the farming game. Uh, keep her off me, I eat her back there. Um, I'm in no position to kill her just yet. This is like one of my first times playing Syndra, and I just went ahead and picked it in the rank, because I was like, it does a lot of damage, it's popular at worlds right now. There I make a mistake of walking onto the sleep, and at this point, I'm almost out of the lane. If she presses her advantage here, I could die. Unfortunately for her, she doesn't press her advantage. So what's my recovery path right here? Right there I try to kill her and I don't think I did all that much damage. Misfortune walks back in my lane for some reason. I don't want her here. I still don't have a fully stacked mana float band. Alright, so at this point, what can I do? Go back. The wave is neutralized yet again in a good spot. Actually, I think I'm going to stay here because Misfortune is being a little jerk. Yeah. So I can stay. Uh, she's out of mana too, so at least I'm not at risk of dying. And again, it's just about fancy footwork. I do have to burn my flash, but I should be out just fine here. At this point, yeah, it's time to go back. No point in being greedy or past that point. Um, I've gotten my boots now. I've got my tier, so mana issue should still slowly become less of an issue, especially once I finish mana flow band. And I'm building towards the Seraph's Embrace. <laughs> or Arc I think it's Archangel's Archangel's Staff first. I don't actually know. Uh, okay, so we're going to keep pushing. At this point, I want to spam abilities to start stacking my tier. I get more vision down. That one, I put my control ward down as well. And now I've started to reach the, the time frame where I can actually kill Zoe a little bit. She's got cleanse. And I know she has cleanse because she hasn't really used her cleanse at all in this game. But I'm starting to hit the point where I can actually kill her. She has to use cleanse right there to get out, that was smart. Should have died otherwise. And so now that she's used that, I'm a bit safe. I can go back to farming. And my next big back is probably going to be my Seraph's Embrace. I don't see any point in backing before I get Seraph's Embrace, or Arch Archangel's Staff. And to get that point faster, I really need to be hitting as much farm as I can, which I am doing. Uh, I don't know why I stopped right here. Okay. So, you know, the farm's pretty okay. I'm second in the game in farm. Um, Hecarim actually comes through. I kill her. Hecarim didn't need to be under tower, though. MF comes. I'm probably back hitting her. We get a play. I think we actually get two plates here. Which I guess that was worth. It was more than I would have gotten on my own, to be honest. And so now I should be able to back and get my Seraph's Embrace. No, actually. Looks like I was just able to get a lost chapter and then, uh... 
uh, Null Magic Mantle. So I'm one step away from finishing my Seraph's Embrace and my Merc Treads. I think getting Seraph's Embrace would have been best there, but that's all right. We're gonna go back in. I stun her. She's dead. I didn't even know why she was even there in the first place. That made no sense to me. Now that she's gone, I can safely farm. They're gonna send Kog'Maw mid, which doesn't really scare me. I do know Kha'Zix is in the area, so I have to be a little hesitant. But I have ult up, so if anybody walks back in the lane, they're at risk of dying. I'm 2-0. I'm in a good spot to carry this game. 100 farm at 12 minutes. Definitely could be better. I do have a finished mana flow band. And I've got a finished Seraphs now. So I'm pretty close to being able to carry this game on my own at this point. Walk back in the lane. Looks like uh, Hecarim's starting Dragon, so at this point I'm going to try to get priority if I can. And farm. I don't try to help him because I'm not going to be much help. It's better for me to sit in my lane and keep people away than bring people towards, even if that's me helping. And so now it's too late. They're going to come mid here, I think. I don't know what they're doing. Kha'Zix comes, I just eat him away. Just gotta keep farming. There's not a lot to be done. Just keep throwing down the Qs. And I think here I can take tower. Actually, I think I can kill him. I do kill him, unfortunately I die as well. Uh, that was worth because, you know, they lose a little farm at tower and I get the shutdown, even though he gets a shutdown. And he had, uh, I think, yeah, he's 4 and 0, so he probably was a bigger shutdown than I was. So that was definitely worth. Um, unfortunately I am going to lose a cannon wave. Which hurts. Uh, Orin's going to go ahead and take mid tower. So at this point, I'm going to look to roam bot. Now here I make a critical error and do take a play that I can't win without my teammate's help. And my teammate doesn't help me at all. You're seeing Sivir is just sitting back here. Farming. And now Sivir decides to join the party a little late. That's on me. That's on me for trying to face tank two people. Especially two people that have a lot of kills between them. Eight kills. Um, wrong to try and face tank them, especially without help. I think with help we would have won that. It was just a trade that wasn't worth taking. So there, you know, there's a little mini throw. I'm 3-2. and two. I'm still really strong. I'm going to go ahead and pick a kill. Uh, I think I almost pick up kills here. I do pick up a kill on Lulu, but I die. So I've gone 5-3 and three now. I'm slowly starting to kind of throw away my lead a little bit. It's that macro we talked about. My micro was really good, and I won my lane fairly heavily. Ooh, hang on. That was a little fast. Now they're fighting over dragon. This dragon's important. This puts us on soul point. So let's kind of break this down a little bit. Right here, this is a free buffet. This is a bowling pin lined up, and then another bowling pin behind it. What am I going to do? Hit my Q, hit my E. They're both stunned now. I Q, I R. Somebody's dying right there. Looks like it was Kog'Maw. Zoe comes back. Orn knocks her up, so I'm safe here. One Q, one auto, pops her. Actually, Orn gets a kill there. Another Q, pops GP, no. Right here, Kha'Zix gets on me. I was ready for it. I E him away while I have a ball midair. Lulu at this point, I think she probably gets out. Yeah. And so from here, it's just two people on drag versus a Lulu. Sport Lulu is not stealing this, but just in case, you're going to watch how I face guard this. I have vision, which helps out a lot. And I use the wall to my advantage. Oop! Stunner right there. I think if I had a true damage E at this point. I do have true damage E. No, true damage is on W. Miss my Q. I'm getting a... No, she's getting back pinged. Whatever. Throw down another ball. I'm ready for this. Boom! I don't know how she doesn't die right there. Her shield tanks that. I don't know how it tanks that. And then she's out. At this point, dragon's ours. 
So that's kind of how you face guard a little bit with terrain. Syndra's really good with terrain. She's a really good zoning champion. Not sure what I'm doing here. So I'm 7-3. I've got 140 CS at 21 minutes. Not my best farming performance. But I'm the most dominant person in the game right now. It's on me to win this game. If anybody else... If we lose the game, it's really on me more than anything. Go ahead and pick up a stun right there. I've been hitting my stuns pretty consistently. Which is nice. I'm just going to keep pushing here. Uh, here they walk into me. Kha'Zix keeps thinking he can face tank me and he keeps not being able to. I don't think there's much more to this game. Looks like we're gonna go for Baron. I'm gonna get off Baron here because it's not worth being on. I'm gonna die. They all peel off as well because they're about to die. I think I go help the team. Actually, we just kill Lulu. Uh, I'm going to stay in the field because I have Rabadons up. And because I know I cannot play. Somehow Zoe survives there, but she ends up dying anyway. Now I have Rabadons. But let me go pick up... No, I don't think I picked up that kill. Now I've got Rabadons. I'm not dying. I'm not... You know, I'm not walking out of there without kills. I'm 8-3-6, 160 farm. I'm killing everybody that I see. Let's see how I do this. I haven't used too much of the EQ trick this game, but that's okay. Uh, Zoe's dead. If you walk into me at this point, you die. I think we get Ocean Soul here. I get GP with a stun. We don't kill him though. Uh, I've gone for Oblivion Orb just for a little bit more magic pin, and that's the game. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching that. How did I win that lane? Really, it was just through. Well, some of it was luck, but also most of it was you know knowing. Knowing my windows, when their windows were to kill me, when my windows were to get kills and farm. Uh, so thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.